a very good morning to you crafty lot uh it is the 8th of july almost the middle of the summer um i love what we're going to be doing today just love 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 because they're so sparkly i've got so much little bits of pieces to show you that um we what we put together for you today uh, morning brenda um well, there's so many of you lovelies are here already please do let me know if you're watching from some of us from around the world we had a lady yesterday from hawaii and one from south africa it's just really nice to see everybody joining in in creating in the crafty fun um from all around the world morning antida judith francis helen joe lovely Right, so today um, is something a little bit different for you. I These trapezoid beads are available on the website. You get 10, 10 on a strand. It comes in all sorts of different colors. Um, they all discounted already. One or two of them you might get a tiny little chip, but it's not really going to affect our pattern. They going to look really, really nice as well. There is many different colors in there. And what you can use, I love this um, blue one as well. Or oh, look at the clear ray we have, sparkly is that. You can really create something really nice with it. Um, good morning, Dean, Marion, Mina, Joe, Margaret, Annie. Look at this. This is the green iris. This is one of my favorite. And I love this one. Now, this is, I think it's called Majestic Pink because um, on one side you get this really nice pink finish. But if you turn it around, on the other side, it's all sort of this gold foiling on the back of it. So you can make a necklace and wear it both ways. So one side can look really pink and the other side can look sort of nice and goldy as well. And look at this one. I love this purple color is going through it. And one of my absolute favorites, this is sort of a gray crystal, but it has, again, this purpley, goldy, really shiny finish on them. Um, so he's saying, morning from Burlington, Crumbia. Pamela saying, good morning, good morning, Pamela, Angela, Pat. And that's your champagne gold as well. So we're going to be working on tiger tail. Um, you most probably most of you seen this one I made up, um, and this was the picture yesterday. Um, what we set the event up with. Um, we're going to use two strand of tiger tail. So we're going to create a morning Sarah, morning Paula, morning Lorna, and morning Jean Mercia. Um, Mercia thinks she's got the purple, so great. You can get it out and start creating with us um, now. We're going to use two strands of tiger tail, one at the top and one right at, uh, at one through the trapezoid beads themselves. And what we're going to be doing is using this lovely little sort of spacer bars. Now, this spacer bar, it has got two holes on them. So you can have a top row and a bottom row. And that's what's going to hold together our two rows of tiger tail. Now, we're only featuring this bar. We have featured bars before when Sarah was... Um, Sarah was uh, uh, making elastic bracelets. Was it a couple of Sundays ago? It wasn't that long ago, I think. And... Um, the, the she featured very very different ones so these bars are absolutely essential um and i think they are perfect for your stash perfect you have at home because you can create so many different looks with it so that's the one i did uh, and this was a picture on facebook so you must have seen that then i went along this one is using four millimeter crystal beads from the bundle by the way and then I went along and created another one. Now this one has got a little bit different shape a V shape there and um it's just by where I'm spacing, these are six millimeter pearls from the bundle as well, where I was spacing the pearls, that's where, um, excuse me, that's where, um, how you get that lovely shape. So the bottom row is always have to be a little bit longer and the top row, you're going to make it slightly smaller. So when you pull it together, you create this natural curve in your necklace and it looks really nice when you wear it as well. This one, I wanted a V shape. So I did a couple of extra pearls right in the middle and it just really broke my um, design out for me. Danny's saying pictures keep blurred on 
or is it me? Do let me know if the picture is blurring. I might just have to wipe the camera part of my phone because sometimes if you have like a little speck of dust on there, it doesn't, it can do that. The cameras keep focusing. Um, and he's asking, how do you watch Create and Craft? Is it a free view channel? We only have a couple. Yes, it's a free view channel. It used to be 23, but do you believe that? We've been going to the channel for four years now and Sarah was on there this morning. But um, on the top of my head, I always just catch it up online and um, createandcraft.com um, and you can um, go and there's a little tab at the top and you can watch the videos live or you can go back and watch them again. Um, how is the uh, picture quality? Yes, it's on Freeview 95. Thank you, Margaret. I know they moved channels around not too long ago and um, I think they grouped all the shopping channels together. Um, and he's saying picture was blurred, but okay for me. Um, I think uh, maybe it's a Facebook issue because if loads of you can see it, picture is blurring. Yes, Kitty is, that's mine too. So let me just bring my, just gonna, excuse me, wipe the camera here and see if that's gonna make any difference. Let me know if it's any better. Dorothy is saying blue skies in Glasgow, amazing. We are really overcast and boring here. So <clears throat> hopefully the weather is gonna, picture is fine here. Sue is saying morning everyone, shame about the weather. Morning jog. Right, um, let's get started. What I need to show you, which what we put together with Sarah um, when she was down a couple of weeks ago, we put together these little boxes and these are full of goodies. They are on the page as well and our total beads. And I'm using some of <clears throat> these elements in my necklace as well. So in this one, what you just see, this um, dragonfly with this really lovely um, sort of... Um, dark teal color pearls i was using the round ones out of this box and on the other necklace i used the cube out of this box so we wanted to create um like little boxes with full of goodies that you can have using all sorts of different designs because i think we just want to encourage you to use different size beads or different shape beads or anything um anything like you know the, dif the difference is what you not normally would buy because perhaps you wouldn't go for something with a flare on it but if you buy an assortment it will sort of force you to make you to use beads what you not normally use and then you will realize that you really like them so we created many of these different boxes that this one is cubes and um sort of rectangle shapes we created one with rounds so these are all round beads all sort of sizes rounds and there is an oval in there as well rounds and ovals so some of them's got um look at the pattern on that it just looks really really gay it's like a lovely little sort of bobbly little flowery design um i love this one this is one of my favorite this has got like an art deco flower on there so these are all there in, in there in, in the boxes for you. Then we created one with hanger beads. So hanger beads are all the beads where, or, or like little rondas, where it's got like a little loop on the bottom. So when you put this on your necklace and then you can hang a charm off the bottom of it. We created one for hearts. I love the hearts. Again, you've got smaller ones and larger ones in there. So you can really, that could be just a feature piece on one necklace, this larger one. And the smaller ones are can be just used in your design. Now, the good thing about these boxes is that each top opens up separately. So you're not going to spill everything out when you're just taking one out because you can just open one up and use those beads. Now, we created one with... Um, Diane is saying, could you open the lids? I will do. We created one. These are more of um, like sort of little donuts, rondel shapes. But look at the, all the differences. There's a couple of different colors and I love this one. And some of them we put a couple of different sizes in there as well. Little flowers, are, again, it makes the most amazing space beads um, for you. Some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, so you can use them in all sorts of different designs. We created one. Oh, this is my... Ups one, one, every single one of them, I look at it and I say, I must have this one. This is my favorite. We created one with angel wings. So you get in each box, 
there is eight different um, design in there on that theme look at all those lovely things so imagine and it's a little dragonfly wing as well i love this one this is so cute um and all the different designs so you can create loads of different bits of bases earrings little decorations i love this wing as well but i think my favorite wing is this one which is like pointing downwards I love it. I really love it. And then we went along. We sort of kept going down the aisle and creating loads of different dance. We created one with just with bead caps. So this one, you get all sorts of different sizes of bead caps. These are great because the sort of they fit over the beads in your design and just give that little bit of extra um, detail in there. And we done we done three of them on charms. I only got the hearts one here. Um, Perhaps I forgot to pick up the other two. Now, the charms as well, again, you get a really nice mixture. Now, these are all heart shaped, but look, this one is saying, I love this one. This one is saying, I love my cat. This one is saying, made for you. So again, you can really personalize your little necklace because at the top, you can just add a little tag on where the clasp is and then, then just makes it really nice. And this one, I believe this one is saying beading a diva. They're just so, so lovely. So each of the designs, there's a little pull marks on there. Look, I love that one as well. Um, each one of the designs, you get eight different things. They do stack up. So if you get more than one, they do stack up on top of each other. So they're really great. Um, now, Simon put this in a offer for us on the website, which is really great. So if you go on Total Beats, Facebook tutorials on the side or on the top, and then you come to today's Facebook, we got the bundles in there because many of you got these bundles already, the pearl bundles or the crystal bundles, and that's what I'm gonna be using a strand out of my crystal bundle um, today. And all all of the antique silver um, bead caps, um, rondelles rand beads cube beads are in there and they all for three for two today so they're 12.99 usually for one and um simon put them on three for two which is amazing because you get three different packs for the price of two so do check that one out now the bracelet bar is in there that's the one we're using today it's a two hole one you get 40 pieces in a bag for one pound 50 and um i added some of the rhodium findings in there because the rhodium color finding goes the best with the antique silver finishes and um all the lovely choppies with beads there as well now what i wanted to show you all these um what we created all these boxes because i've been using the boxes in my design and as you can see because at the front either on this necklace or this one where i used the cubes as well i use some of the antique silver beads as well and then taking the antique silver beads further up in my design towards my clasp it just makes it more like sort of an even make so you're taking these colors at the front taking it up on the side and your whole piece is just going to look like complete and really professional so that's why um we wanted to give you some of these little beads and bits of pieces now they're all sort of different sizes and and there's hundreds of them we have at total the beads so just really wanted to narrow down the um what you going to what what you can use and you know to make you to try these out and have a little play with them and mina is asking kitty how many revolu you need to make a bracelet your size as i got some problem as you um the revolu do you mean mina that's the one what sarah had on the um, the creating craft this morning do let me know if that's the one you are asking about and then um I'm going to use these ones because I just love these pink ones today. I'm going to make a necklace out of that one. So do let me know if that's the one you mean. And um, I think those Rivoli ones, I needed 20 for my size, 20 or 21. But um, Sarah only needed like 15. So if you Sarah's size, you can make more than um, 10 bracelets out of that kit. Right, so... I'm going to take my trapezoid beads. They're only £1.75 for all 10 of them, so amazing value as well. 
I'm just going to take them off the string. Now, if you choose, these ones are all sort of the same colors here, but if you choose some of the sort of multicolor ones, like the dragonfly, where you have more than one color in there at the same time, what I like to do, and let me just bring it up and show it to you. So this one is the dragonfly. This is the one I used in this necklace. So if you look at these, these got two sides, and some of the sides are more... Um, greeny and some of the sides are more purpley so what I would do with these if you go for one of these colors I'm just very quickly going to show you and we're going to start making you got you need to sort of have a look at them and plan them out before you put them on the necklace now I only use probably seven or nine or even five on the necklace this one is only got seven and it looks great this piece is probably about 20 centimeters I guess so you it's already quite a big at the front because you can space them out so if you're going for one of them one of these ones which is our multicolors I would plan them out which side I want to use and in what order so I would put probably the ones if I want to go more for a um, turquoise tealy color um, into the middle and graduate it down as I go on the side to have a really nice effect but oh there's another one Let's put that this side. So I got six there. And as you can see, the two in the middle got more turquoise on there. And the two on the two, as I going down, they got less and less the steely turquoise color on there. And I can even pop like a purpley one at the end. But alternatively, if I wanted to use more purple, then I would turn them and use more of the purple sides. And then I would string them up that way. So if you want to go from one of the multicolor ones, this was the dragonfly one I just showed you. And there is this one as well. This one is the mermaid pink. So this one is going to have like, you know, some more goldy, some more pinky colors in there. So do sort of cut it up and just have a little play which one you want to, which color you want to add there. Or you can just pick up randomly with the Clister AB or any of the, some of the other colors. You don't have this um, because they're all sort of very similar. So it doesn't matter how you string them up. Right. So we're going to use these ones today. I just love um, this one bronze rainbow i think this one's called i called it majestic pink because it's so nice and i'm going to use them i'm going to string them up and up on the same way going all the way along so i'm going to see the pinks and then i can turn my necklace around and uh, see the golds so we're going to use these ones this way now we're going to use two tiger tail um, you can either string them up as you go along so you can do one side and then come back and do the other side let me just take these crystals off or you can string both of the strands at the same time when i design a necklace like this i would um sort of focus on the middle piece first so i would start on the side on the middle piece do this middle piece first and when i'm happy with this middle piece then do the sides going to the top because that's my focal beads that focal piece in the middle that's my decorative piece so that's why i really want you know what's going around and back of your necklace can be sort of tweaked and just use the leftover beads for that but the middle the front i want it really Oh, Margaret saying Christopher's um, bottom men were flying out again. Yes, they were this morning. They sold out again. Every single time we take it to... Um, so I just had a sip of my coffee. Create and craft. Um, they always sell out. He's such a little clever cookie. He came up with the idea that he wanted to do something with, um, with sort of little wire, little fun little fun little buttermen so i'm um, shall we do i'm gonna use the cubes because i really like this design so i'm just gonna get my box with the cubes and get them out so very easily i just tip that one out because they all open up separately and we're gonna start stringing and there is my space bars now two lengths of tiger tail you don't need um, 
I like to work with a little bit longer one. Tiger Till is quite um, cheap, I guess, so it doesn't, um, but my beads doesn't run off the end by only got probably about a feet and a half, which will be more than enough for my necklace. I'm gonna take this twice over. Now, if you got a little um, spring, like a bit, they called the bead stoppers, you can add it onto your tiger tail because once you cut both of the sides, both of the ends, you don't want stringing your beads on one side and they're falling off on the other side. So the bead stoppers are just little these springy things, but you can push together at the end. And I'm just gonna insert the tiger tail in there so then it will hold my beads against there so let's start stringing i'm going to start with the bar and um, have a look the bars have got a front and a back so the back is slightly curved and the front is a slightly domed um you can wear your necklace back to the front and front to back if you go something like this um bronze rainbow because they they look equally good with domed or really equally good with uh, sort of dipped back as well. But we'll show you that in a minute. And from here is just really picking up your pattern. You're going to pick up a different pattern at the bottom and you're going to pick up a different pattern on the top. Let me actually take some of these out of the way so you can see better. I'm going to move these down and my crystal sort of out of the way so you can see my hands better is that better yes we've got a nice and clear space to work with so at the bottom i'm gonna add my trapezoid bead so i'm gonna string on a cube i'm gonna add one of the trapezoid and another cube now you can work with any size of beads you just need to work out a pattern where your top row is going to be slightly smaller than your bottom row now on a top row i'm going to use a four millimeter crystal a cube and another four millimeter crystal and now so i've got two different patterns on the top you can see because our trapezoid beads are bigger at the bottom when I add the next spacer on there, our necklace is naturally going to start to curve just like that. And you're going to carry on adding. Now you can either just sort of go along the bottom and add all of your bottom row and then add the top one afterwards. Or you can do it at the same time, top and bottom. It's entirely it's up to you but it's really easy as that just making um a pattern any pattern you like you can use all sorts of different beads just make sure your top row is slightly smaller than your bottom row um kitty would you be doing the herringbone chain bundle on your side or it was just for cnc i think the herringbone chain is on our website um, I'm not 100% sure because the guys, I keep sort of adding and take away things as like things go back and um, in stock. Um, if you are unsure, if you really would like them, give a call to the office and I'm sure Simon or Blake will sort it out for you. No problem at all. You can find the phone number on our homepage as well. Or Molly, if you're watching, can you please... Um, write it in there in the comments and a little cube and another crystal and i'm bringing them together and adding another one of these lovely bars now these bars comes in all sorts of different shapes and sizes some of them even have some diamonds on there so you can really make and as you can see i only got three but if i pull this side it's already starting to um, space out at the bottom. And I'm just going to carry on and add my pattern. Leanne is saying question, when you are not doing a demo, do you use a bead board? Um, so I, this is my, I got 
mm, I'm not even sure where is this table from, but it's just a, a normal size table I got here. This is my, I call it my crafting desk. And um, I have, uh, I think it's 80 by 120. So just a normal size sort of smaller table. The material I got on the top here is just a fleece material, what I bought in my local fabric shop. It is, I don't know, $4.99 or $5.99 a meter. Really sort of a cheaper material and it comes doubled up as well. So it's two, and I use it doubled up on here to get a, a, a nice sort of a squidgy um, feeling on the top. And uh, I got two of them. So one of them is always on the table and the other one I can put into the wash because they wash really nicely and they come back up really nice and white. Now they come in all sorts of different colors. Some of you can, you could have a lighter one and then you could have a darker one when you're using lighter beads or for other crafts, but they're really a great, just a felt material to use from um, your local shop. If I then bead or I got quite a few bead boards <laughs> stacked up on the side because when I start the project and if I sort of stop and need to jump to something else, then I use one of our bead boards, which is, um, they are bead trays for the, they match to exactly the same size of the bead mats. Bead mats are a really great material. So this one is a little bit fluffy. Bead mats are more, I got one here. Let me just show you. So bead bats are more, um, I don't know how to describe it really, sort of, a, a, it's got, it's like a flake, fake um, valeur, I guess. So again, what it does, it stops the beads rolling around. So when you're working with it, they just sort of stay in one position. And I got quite a few of these trays because I can carry them around. I can work on the veranda. I can work in the lounge when we're watching a movie. I can work upstairs. Um, you can really take them around the house. So they're great as well. So those are the two types I'm using. And what's great about those trays that you can stack them up if you are doing a project, but you want to jump onto another project and do something different, um, I usually just put the beads on that and um, put it to the side and then come back to it a later day. It just keeps my work nice and um, secure. Lauren is asking, do you have to use tiger tail for the trapeze gems or could be used with thread? Are they too heavy? I love using tiger tail because tiger tail is a really strong material. So this one is got seven strand of steel in there. They are really thin, but they woven together and they caught it with an nylon. So you can't break this with a hand whatsoever. You're going to need a crimp bead at the end to secure it, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, and what great thing about them. So when you have a necklace which is made with thread with the necklace you got sort of a fluidity in there so you can see it's already shaping up really nicely i'm gonna add a couple more crystals to this one and i'm gonna use this one so two four six i'm gonna use seven in there or shall we go for nine let's go for nine we're gonna use nine so tiger tail is slightly going to keep your, your necklace a little bit straighter and sit really nice on your neckline as well. So it's a really great material to work with. If I do something with sh like stringing like this, even if you just do one strand or you want to do a couple of strands, I uh, will use tiger tail. If I want to stitch something together, which is what we're going to be doing tomorrow, then I will use needle and thread and stitch it together. But these are just, this is just my take how to use these beads. There is many different, you know, the possibilities are endless what you can do with these trapezoid beads and what you can do with them. I think they're just really great. They're really great shapes, something a little bit different from the norm, sort of your drop shapes. It's just, um, I think they look really cool. I'm just going to add another bar here. So if you 
do it like this way that you're stringing both of your tiger tails at the same time you can kind of sort of stop um, time by time and check your pattern how's it gonna work out if you just string one at the bottom and then you come and string at the top and if your pattern doesn't work out then you're gonna have to take one of the sides up and either add or take away beads because on your bottom strand it's gonna have to be slightly bigger on your top strand only about a couple of meter millimeters in each segment but it's going to have to be bigger, be bigger so you get that lovely effect but you could use any beads just have a little play around with them and this is what great about tiger tail that you can string your beads on there have a little look and if you don't like it you haven't secured anything you can take them all off and start again and I think that's one of the best part of jewelry making so you can just sit there and um, you can just sit there and play with your lovely beads and times flies when you're having fun right Margaret saying question Kitty I have ordered the new bead sewing kit from your side I understand most of it but baguettes what does that refer to please oh my word we had such a giggle with this last night um so we have um got some new embroidery kits and um the girls in the office they just copied the description from our supplier who is in ukraine over oh no i don't need that one there i need a bar from ukraine and google automatically translates everything what you copy over and for some reason google put that on the embroidery kit that you need baguettes and i didn't really sort of realize it the, the girl who was doing um the descriptions and setting up the website best bless her she is not a beader she's the most wonderful designer to do stuff she's a graphic designer online but um she just thought is something perhaps a very special thing what you use for embroidery and we had such a giggle you had a few messages over it that, um what do you mean baguettes what do you need baguettes for an embroidery kit and um just lying in bed last night and it was just we were we were giggling over it i mean if you get they take quite a bit of time to do so if you choose a larger picture it's probably going to take you a whole day to do it so you might need a baguette for your lunch but definitely not for the kids Right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got our nine on there already. Now, the next step, of, and if I pull the top and the bottom tight, you can see we got this really natural curve. Now, the next thing we have to do, we have, I want to bring these two tiger tails into one. I mean, you could have two strings going to the back of your necklace. That's not a problem as well. Um, it's just going to be, you know, your design. You could do whatever you want. What I like to do is to pull the two strings together then, and I'm going to string all these beads on both of the tiger tails going to the back of my necks. So depending on where your last bar is and how it's sitting, you might need to add an extra bead on the outside of it this one is comes up quite nice almost i guess um horizontal so we don't really need to we're just gonna add the same pattern on both tiger tails and then bring it together but if your design was sort of further out you can see they're more in a well, 45 degree angle here then i would have to add a couple of extra beads so i would add two beads on the inner strand and three beads on the outer strand before i bring them together because as you can see you got a larger gap there so i'm gonna just add a cube and a crystal to each strand and then i'm gonna bring them together with um one of the cube beads. Auntie is saying that sounds yummy. I think that's about ba our baguettes. Isn't that funny? I mean, I I am the blondest of blonde, I guess, because I misspell things and um, I do things all the time, and we really have a good giggle of it afterwards. That um, there is a really sort of embarrassing one, but. Um, it was 
oh God, about 15 years ago, we were looking for houses. And by that time, like, you know, um, I've been in England for 20 years now, so my English is quite good. So uh, let me just, I'll tell you that story in a minute because it's really funny. So um, I brought both of them together. I added that cube. And now on this side, I'm just going to add beads to both of the strings at the same time i'm creating a pattern now i want to add a few cubes going all the way up between my crystals just to bring that metal look all the way through at the necklace to make it look like really professional and this pattern you can create you know which whatever beads you like in whatever order you like it doesn't really matter i guess it's your design you do whatever you like so i just added three crystals i'm going to add a cube and then i'm perhaps gonna add five crystals in a cube then seven crystals in a cube just bringing these little cubes going at the top right so i'm going to string my crystals here what you have to make sure that when you start to string on the other side of your uh, front piece you do exactly the same pattern as here so the very funny story that we were looking for houses about 15 years ago and um, I've been in England for 20 years. So now, like, you know, I know a lot of things, but by then, I guess coming from Hungary, English, my second language and some some like sayings um, in English, it's. I think of it differently, like when you say happy as Larry, I, I don't know who this Larry person is, but he must be very, very happy because everybody's talking about him, bless. But um, we were looking for houses, so I was Googling all the different, we, we looked different areas and where sort of we want to move before we ended up here where we are. And um, there was all sort of funny village names and um, really funny sort of, you know, town names and everything else. Um, that you like you know you got a town or stroke village called in um sorry called pratt's bottom and uh, all sort of like different really funny names so i went on obviously one of the uh, sites where you go and look your houses and um this house said that oh this is a wonderful opportunity this is a really great house um it's just overlooking village green so naturally the first thing i did i went on google and um i googled you know where is village green and my then simon my husband started out laughing burst out in laughing and he was like in stitches for at least about five minutes that what a blonde thing i did because obviously village green is the big field in the middle of a village but um, i thought that was the name of the village so that's the funny story, but he, we were laughing about it still whenever we bring something up and it's an obscure name of a place. Simon always says like, oh, it's like a bit like Village Green, isn't it? And I said, yes, yes, it is. Right, so. Wendy's asking, where can I find the cubes um, Kitty mentioned? So if you just joined us, we got a quite a few products in today um we created lovely little bundles of tibetan silver which is they are not real silver they're just a style of tibetan silver they zinc alloy beads and we created these lovely little boxes each of them holds eight different ones so this one is the heart you have all different ones in there some of them smaller some of them are larger you can use them in all sorts of different designs but the great thing about this box so you can open them up separately so you you're always just spilling one out you're not gonna not everything is gonna fall out which some of the traditional boxes and um, we created that was the hearts we created one for round beads the round beads are used in this turquoise necklace those little ones but they comes in all sorts of different sizes i mean look at the pattern on this one i love this antique uh, is um art deco rose one as well and the cube one is coming from the cubes and tube mixes and i just it's i've taken the ad so that's um on my mat but uh, there are really nice designs in there as well. I mean, look at this one. It's just really, really lovely. So we, we created this with when Sarah was down. 
because they wanted to give you something you loved all the crystal bundles and you loved all the the pearl bundles we did and bead bundles because um with that one as well i say it's such a great opportunity and we got them on the page today as well i'm using the crystal from the four millimeter crystal bundle and on this necklace i used a six millimeter pearl from the six and eight millimeter pearl bundle so quite a few of you have got these bundles already and what we wanted to do with sarah that we keep using these bundles over and over again so you got beads there exactly you know when you want to use them you might just need to purchase the feature piece and the little things themselves but you got loads of materials at home to use with all of our videos and we've been using i think the crystals sarah used it in her ring design she i used it in um what do I use it in? I used it in something else as well. And uh, we've done over like 150 product, 150 uh, videos now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. 150 videos now. So it's just, um, we used it in quite a few of them. The pearls as well. I used it in an elastic bracelet with those lovely um, acrylic roses. Sarah used it in some of her stringing ones as well. So we keep going through and using up um our bundles and what's great about the bundle which actually let me just show you quickly the pearl one so what great about the bundle that you get a really nice um selection of beads i'm just sort of grabbing my tray yet because i keep this on a tray so i can really see nice and the colors so in the pearl bundle like this one you get six and eight millimeter in there and it's you get a really nice color scheme color collection i used just a few beads in one of the designs i did the other day but this way um you sort of i'm not really a green person but i you will need a couple of green beads here and there if i'm doing something it makes you to use to work with all sort of a really large color palette and that's i think how you build up your confidence and you build up your you know your designs and you do all sorts of different things because you can match a pearl or you can match you know anything to any of the projects you do and that's the one that's the color i used in that one and keep going through and, and simon is so great because he always gives us an offer on these um, bundles. So today we added these little beauties to the website and we have um, chosen, me and Sarah, that we had, you know, a, a good, I suppose we were there for about an hour or so, um, choosing all these different designs and all the different bits of pieces what we put in there for you, that um, you can really take your creative sort of insights and take it further and further and create lovely pieces of jewelry because like i don't just want you to replicate what i'm doing i mean it's great but i want you to take it a little bit further and try out different things because for me that's the most fun when i can sit down and just sort of try it out with one shape bead and then try it out with another shape bead or another color bead and um i think that's so fun to do and play around and you create something truly unique as well sorry i have been um ignoring some of your messages um i can see that you are answering um each other's as well paula is asking what is the name of the beads you have got joining the two lines together so the those beads what i using they're not beads they called bracelet bars and they an antique silver color they got two holes on them you get 40 pieces for 150 so you can see there are the two holes um they are absolutely essential in your stash as well because you can create so many different patterns sarah used some of them she used some bigger ones as well to do some bracelet bars a couple of sundays ago with elastic that was a really great project as well so you will be using them over and over again as you go along right so i'm just going to leave this side for a second and i'm going to take my spring off the other side and add my start adding my beads on this side as well so you can see how the necklace forms so i'm going to do the same little pattern 
adding on this side as well to match it add a couple of cubes and a couple of crystals then i'm going to pull both strands together with a cube bead just like that and now i'm going to start stringing that same pattern i have on this side to match my other side going on the back of my neck so it's quite a simple i guess design because you're just stringing your beads along but sometimes simple things can look like sometimes less is more you can really have really nice beautiful necklaces with just a few different and we're only using um four millimeter crystals the trapezoid beads which obviously that's our focal point of this necklace and um you know some antique silver beads and um, a bar and that's it and we're creating I, I guess you know i just love something like this really nice piece and something like this depending of how many you add on there so if i just added five i could probably you know get away with it or not get away with it, but i could wear it to just going down shopping in a supermarket or like you know day wear but i guess what i'm trying to say if you add more and more of them on there then this can turn into a really nice night wear as well i mean at the moment we're not really allowed out but um once we're back to normal but then hey ho i seen it on facebook as well that some people did these formal dinners at home so they dressed up and um had the dinner in their wedding dress or under the lockdown or had the dinner in um you know a certain like you know i think that's really cute as well you can recreate anything at home i guess all these experiences right so i'm just adding the pattern so i'm adding the same on this side while i added on the other side so i started with three crystals and i did a little cube five crystals little cube seven crystals little cube so what i want to do here is just to bring up this color this color of this lovely antique silver finding into my strands all the way to the top so i have a really nice and even finish so i'm gonna add seven crystals now you can make your necklace as long as you want to obviously this is what's the most wonderful thing about making your own jewelry that you make it to the size to fit you we always giggle with sarah because she's got such a dainty little wrist and i got um a really chunky one and um bracelets doesn't fit me in the sort of high street because they're always small for me and bracelets sometimes doesn't fit her because it's always too big for her so i guess we got no choice but we have to make our own but with necklaces or rings or anything you can make it to the size of what you want them to be that is saying question please what comes in the embroidery kits please <laughs> so the embroidery kits we got different lines on them and um let me let me finish this and at the end of the video i will show you i got one here that um what you get in there because um i think everybody's been really excited about that well i've been certainly very excited and uh, i sat down and started stitching one straight away so at the moment um i'm up until like 11 o'clock or gone 11 o'clock every night doing some crafting and um but i really enjoyed them i really I, I looked forward to them too they've been a bit of a longer We've been approached by the company i think last year in december and it took us about six months of sort of going backwards and forwards looking at designs and then making on the order day preparing the order and sending it to us but um, i'm really really excited about them because we can i always say that we only have you know two wrists you only have one neck you've got two ears and um but you got 10 fingers but there's only so many jewelry you can make but if you read the beads we are so blessed because we can do so many artistic um four six eight nine i'm in the nine now we can do artistic things as well we can do pictures we did candle holders we did all sorts of different um you know you can use your skills 
in many different areas as well. And this embroidery is just one of them. So when I was younger, when I was, I guess, in my sort of late teens, early 20s, I was really into cross stitch and I did so many pictures. And you sort of get that way that you, you've been there, you've done that, and now you want to do something different. And um, I know the crystal art has been around for quite a while and you stick the little gems on the picture itself because it's sticky. But I get such more, I guess, satisf satisfaction to stitching the beads off using the needle and thread. It's just, for me, it's just a little bit more permanent. It's a little bit more secure and they look absolutely beautiful. Right, so another section is that one, two, six, I've only got seven here. So I'm going to do another section of nine. Or shall we do seven? Let's go back down to seven and we add our cube. Oh, Margaret is saying she's going to go and get a baguette. Oh, bless. I love, um, I love a fresh sort of crunchy baguette. Even if it's just with butter, you don't even have to put anything in it. Um, I love, I love bread. I forgot to add the cube, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, Karen's saying me too. So can we agree, everybody's having a baguette for lunch today? With our little giggle yesterday. Bless. I think we all have those moments when we completely forget or, or, or I, I think maybe the word is you don't really think, you just sort of do it and you rise afterwards that, oh, we've got a silly thing. But I think Google as well, you know, doesn't, they just translate to whatever the nearest thing is, I guess. But never mind. I'm almost at the top. Anyone tried part baked baguettes? Yes, we always have them at Christmas. So when we, at Christmas time, you know the ones you can get in the packs and they're partially baked and you have to bake in the oven and you put them in and they came out perfectly nice and crunchy and fresh and warm. I always have them at Christmas. They are a really great thing to have just in the house because like you know by Christmas day I don't like I usually go do my all my Christmas shopping for food on the 22nd or 23rd and um, if you have bread you know by the 25th it's going to be a little bit stale and those little baguettes and you can get them like you know normal ones white ones you can get wholemeal ones you can get um, loads of different ones so they're a really great one to weird one to have and they do stay okay I think about three four weeks so even if you don't use it at Christmas we always like use it at New Year's so I'm just adding the last few crystals I guess to this side and I'm going to add another three crystals to the other side and I think that's about well it's definitely going to be over 40 centimeters now the right length I do like to, when I do my patterns going all the way to the top, I do like to do them side by side so I don't forget my pattern and I don't have to keep checking it as well. So I would add three crystals on one side and then I would add three crystals on the other side and five crystals on one side and five crystals on the other side straight away. So I sort of following the pattern up side by side. You just have to think less about it, I guess, that way. Um, Jean is asking, what colour and size the other beads are, please? So I'm just using a strand of crystal out of the 4mm bundle. Um, you can, they, they are great because you can match them up with all sorts of different, you know, projects you use them. But I think these are the autumn rainbow on the website, or is that the rainbow rainbow? No, these are the autumn rainbow. They got a little bit of pink to them. Or mermaid pink. We also call it mermaid pink as well. I just love it. It's just a really nice colour. Um, 
and I'm just added a couple of crystals and I think it's long enough. I do like my necklaces a little bit longer. We can cheat on, on the end, which I will show you on the other necklace. So you can add like a little extender, make a little extender chain out of jump rings or you can add a little extender chain itself to be have the perfect size. If you do make an extender chain, that's a really great addition because um, if you make your jewelry to sell or if you make it as a present you can you know with the extender chain they can wear it wherever they need to wear it um and depending on what clothes you have at home some um clothes have you know necklines coming further up some some neck some um, clothes some tops are lower down so you can wear your necklace lower down so with the extender chain you can adjust where you're going to be wearing your necklace where is the focal point going to be further up or down on your necklace right i'm just adding my last crystal now and we're going to attach the ends and that's it our necklace is great it will look really really great i really love this because it's such a simple design this is something what you can just sit there and sort of make it up right so at the ends I'm going to add, and look how much I got left of these. You get 40 in a bag, and I got, and I only used 10 of them, so I got 30 left here. So it's enough for another, and they one pound 50 a pack. So they are really great to, just to have in your stash, because you're going to be using them all the time. Like, let's get those out of the way. Now I'm going to use cream beads. Cream beads are these little metal beads. Um, they are sort of a softer metal, but once you crush them with your pliers, they're going to stay nice and shut and they're going to keep your necklace. They're going to, and we need, actually, let's have one jump ring at the end and I'm sure you just sort of, we can make a little chain to add a little bit of extender on there. And we need a couple of clots. Now, these clots are, I always call them clamshells, but they're like two balls stuck together at the bottom or like a clamshell with little loops at the top. So it's a really nice and secure way you can have your necklace. Very professional finish. You're not gonna see any of the creams or you're not gonna see any of, you know, the technical bits. How is it made? Right, so you need to string on your clot from the bottom. There's a little hole there. And I'm gonna take both of the tiger tails through this. Then I'm gonna pick up a couple of cream beads. Now I like to double crimp my necklaces and especially my bracelets, because my little boy, he's nine years old, but when he was smaller, the first thing what he did when you picked him up, um, he would, you know, pull on your necklace or try to take your bracelet off. So I always wanted to make mine really extra secure. So I've got a couple of crimp beads there. I'm just gonna take my pliers and all you do is just to flatten this out, right out. So, and then this becomes the really nice and secure and you can't move it anymore, that's gonna stay there. That's now molded onto the tiger tail itself. Then I'm gonna bring up the second one right next to it and crimp that there. So I got double crimps. Now the other way you can do it, and I think Sarah likes to do her necklaces that way, and this is, shows you that different designers would do, prefer different ways to do necklaces. She would feed the tiger tail back down some of the beads. I um. I think this one, using two crimps instead of just one crimp and um, feed it down is secure, but she swears by it that if you use one crimp and feed it back down, it's more secure as well. So maybe you can, you, let me know what you prefer. Um, Sheila's asking what color are the trapezoid you have used in the necklace on the top of the screen, please. This one, this one is the dragonfly. I used the dragonfly and I used this one, which was also the picture on the, um, the main picture on the vest website. And this is blue shimmer. This one is called blue shimmer. Just bring it in a little bit more. So dragonfly and blue shimmer. 
Right, so I'm just gonna trim the and I we added the crimps on there. I'm gonna trim the tail of the tiger tail off. Tail of the tiger tail and bring the clot over. And as you can see, those li two little crimp beads are just gonna sit inside my clot and I'm gonna shut my clot. Now I can either do it with my hand or you can go in with your pliers and just squeeze it together, shut them right up. Now what you want to do next is to bring your beads up right against on your clot and I'm gonna start, let me just bring this up a little bit. I'm gonna start sliding my front piece along as well. So I get a really nice and tight um, finish on my necklace. Now that's why I like to leave when I first crimp it about like, you know, a half an inch or just a little gap. So I can have this motion and just pull my necklace and really pull it nice and tight. Sorry, wobbling the camera. So I have a really nice and nice and curved finish because nothing wrong just to finish the necklace off and then you realize, oh, I got a tiny little gap there. So I just pulled them up nice and tight. Make sure there is no gaps. And I'm just going to turn this necklace around and now, now I'm going to fit this end. So again, you're going to start with your clot. I'm going to go in from the bottom, take both tiger tails too. Now on this side, I can't crimp further up. I have to crimp right inside that clot. So I'm going to just, just lightly open this clot just up a couple of sort of millimeters to give me a little bit more room there. Again, I'm going to add two of the crimp beads on there. So I'm just going to go double secure. Margaret's asking what size crystals did you use? So this one is on the back of the necklace. I'm just using the four millimeter, a, form, a strand of four millimeter crystal. This one is came at one of the bundles, but um, it is the autumn rainbow or mermaid ring. Now I'm gonna go in and crimp both of these crimp beads, just really nice and flat in there. Um, you can go back and you can crimp one, you can cream just make sure that both of them are crimped so you got a nice and neat finish then all is it left to do is to trim um, with the flush cutters with the flush side um, again just sort of tucked up right next to those cream beads and I'm gonna cut the tail of the tiger tail off so I got just a little bit finished there and again I'm just gonna close this clot up you can do it with your hands or with your pliers, just close it right up. And it's all is it left to do is to add our clasp at the end. So I see that you having a discussion about the trapezoid beads. Now I am using this, which is, I call it majestic pink, but I think it's called bronze rainbow on the website. So this one is really nice and pink on one side and on the other side it's gold, so you can reverse it. Um, some of them is sort of like a little bit multicolor. Um, this one is the dragonfly and some of them are like crystal AB, sort of the same all the way through. Now, open and close the jump link. Try to hold it as much as you can with your pliers with a little cut right at the top. I'm gonna twist the once towards me, the other one away. I'm gonna pop this little clot, the loops of the clot on there, both of them, both of the loops. And I'm gonna add, no, I want this on the other side because I'm right-handed, so I want to be able to close it with my right hand. And I'm gonna shut that jump ring back. So when you shut it, just go past the midway a tiny bit and it will spring shut. If you wiggle your jump ring just a little bit like that and you can feel those two ends are rubbing together, you know your jump ring is completely closed. And then I'm gonna add a jump ring and the lobster clasp on the other side. Open it up again, adding my clot and I'm gonna add lobster claw class at the same time closing it back in and our necklace is complete 
with the ends there. Now, what you can do, you can add, or you can make a little extended chain at the top, which I did just on this necklace, just added a few more links, so I can wear it sort of an inch shorter or an inch longer. And this is so easy to do. You're just gonna take a few jump rings. You're gonna open up a jump ring, the same way as you did, and just gonna keep building and adding it to the jump ring side, the opposite side to your clasp, to add, to make a little chain. If you had an extended chain, of course, you can use that as well. I like to build it up from the jump ring because then it's all look like exactly the same what you have at the end. And um, obviously jump rings, you get, I don't know, 150, 200 in a bag for 150. So it keeps your cost down as well. And I'm just gonna open and two up, another two up and add it to it. But you can do this as long as you want. So I just like to add an inch or two, but you could add, you know, two, three inches if you like, depending of how multi-size you want to make your necklace. Let's add a, one more. I got one more rogue one here on my mat. Just make sure all your drink, all your jump rings are fully closed and you're gonna have a nice multi-size necklace there. Just close that back in, so that's it. That's it's really how easy it is to make this necklace. So don't forget to have a look on the website. We've got many different colors of these ones. You can create all sorts of different patterns. I love these ones. They only want, Simon discounted them, they are 175. Uh, one or two of them might have a tiny little chip on them here or there but you're not really gonna see it on your design. Most of them are perfectly good. They're lovely, they're really, really lovely colors. I think this is the mermaid pink. So the mermaid pink is just a multicolor one. Again, with this one, what I would do, I would take it off the strand and play it out heavy. Um, played the dragonfly just to have a look at the sides which um, size is what color and plan out your you know how you want to string them up so oh look at that one it's got quite a lot of teal in it so if I want to show more tealy colors I would use this side if I want to show more purpley colors then I would use that side but by doing this if one side is more tealy the other side is going to be more purpley so again you could wear it um, either way I guess and then just choose a pearl or a crystal to sort of um, go with it. And there's only one golden rule to this necklace We're using the bars that your bottom row is, has to be slightly longer than your top row. So you get this natural curve in your necklace. So just by adding an extra bead at the bottom or just by, you know, making the top one, it's a little bit smaller like we did with this one because... Um, here we've got two, three millimeter cubes and this is about six millimeters. So that adds up to um, 12 millimeter in size. And the top we got two four millimeter crystals and a three millimeter cube. So that adds up to nine millimeter, no, no, sorry, 11 millimeter. So it's just a tiny bit, little bit smaller at the top the, between the two bars and at the bottom. And then you get your really nice curving effect. Yes, Lorna, you could add your made um, um, handmade charm to the end of your extended chain. That would look really good. Let's do that. So, made for you. We've got made for you. We've got beading diva in here. Or we've got one with a little lock saying love. Which one? Which one shall we put on there? I love this one as well. But then I equally love like the filigree designs as well. They haven't got anything written on them, but they're just a really nice design. So do check out these on the website as well because Simon put them on a fur. Oh, look, that looks really cute as well. Um, Simon put them on the fur. Let's put made for you at the end. Or shall we do I love my cat or the little cat pose? Hmm. Let's let that's a made for you. So I just take another jump ring. Thanks, Lana. That's a really good idea. So we Sarah, we created this little selection boxes for you, and we were there for 
over an hour choosing all the different ones and swapping and i was saying oh i like this one more we must put this one in and sarah was saying i like this design more and we put, must put that one in i just opened the jump ring i'm gonna add the tag and i'm gonna add it to the end of my chain and i like this one more and and we sort of went from there but um we created 10 different assortments of oats. these ones are hanger beads we got round beads you got all sorts of different sizes in there you got the hearts they look great as well the you lock the bead caps i love them because you use them in so many different so you got some really large ones and some tiny mini ones in there as well um the box is great because you can open it up as you go along just each one of them these are the rondel beads again they are you've got some larger ones you got i love this knotted design and like you got larger ones smaller ones in there some of them this one is more like a disc shape so you can use it in different ways you could even use this as a button button um on one of our stitches designs you got the cubes i just used the smaller cubes in the necklace we made today um but you got loads of other designs in there as well and the angel wings they are really great i think the only two boxes i haven't got here is the um, we got one which is angels and butterflies charms and we got another one charms which is um leaves and flowers but do check them out on the website because they in the category today and they're all on three for two today so you get three boxes for the price of two and you can sort of build a little collection you can just you know play with it and using all sorts of different designs and this will really i guess you know to making your own designs and starting your own things with all the different little bits of pieces will grow you so much as a designer and um you know you can just it's it's what's the what I love most. Just play with it. The bundles in there as well. If you haven't had them before, I showed you the um, the forty strand one, the six and eight millimeter ones. That should be fifty quid. It's thirty four ninety nine, and you get forty strands of pearls in there. You got forty strands of four mils for twenty nine ninety nine. Forty strands of three mils for thirty four ninety nine. And the crystal bundles are in here as well. Um, that should be twenty five pound, and it's fourteen ninety nine. We get a selection of ten colors. They are really great to get as well because you can use it again and again in your designs and all the trapezoid beads are there as well. So let me just show you. I'm going to turn the camera around and put this necklace on so you can see how nicely it sits on um, with my top. And next I'm going to show you the embroidery kit straight after. So let me just turn this around. Hi, there, 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 there we are. So with the necklace, or oh, I should have worn like a, a different top for this, but it just really, it sits really nice on the neckline as well. Sort of dresses up whatever you have. So because I got the chain, I can wear it shorter or longer. I'm going to pull my top a little bit down. Let's get this hair out of the way. I decided that I'm going to grow my hair, but days like this, I'm, I'm wishing that I have it short again. So it's a really nice like, necklace. Um, you can add as many or as little as you want um, to your neckline and you can create different effects and only by using that, you know, those little um, space bars of 150 for 40, you can make loads of different ones. Betty saying, I'm going to scoot off now. Thanks anyone for the great tutorial, Kitty. Cheer you, everyone. I'm so glad that um, you join us day by day and it's really nice to see everybody. So I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. Because when I keep talking and talking and talking, my throat dries out and then I go into a coughing fit and you don't want to. Um, Mili's saying, this is my kind of necklace as it is sparkly. And Margaret is saying, looks amazing. Yes, I really love designing this one. It's just something a little bit different, I guess. And because the trapezoid beads are a little bit special, they are different from the normal, what you would be using. They just really make a great and very unique necklace as well. Um, Julie's saying, sorry, please say again the color of your necklace. So this one is the bronze um, rainbow. And if I just get it off in a sec, come on, where is my top all? There we go. 
if I get you off again. So on one side, you're going to get this really lovely pink color. And then I could equally wear it from the other side, which is more, you get that bronzy color in there. So this one is really great because it's multi usable. And now we got like a very different color necklace to go with a different dress or a different top as well. So this one is, is have two sides. Quite a lot of them have got like a mixture of colors on them. So you can, um, look at this rainbow one. So some side is more pink and the other side you have ones which are more gold. So how you turn them and the one I made up. So this side is going to be more of your greeny side and if i turn around this side is going to be more purple so you can wear them every day um with different clothes um any way you want them to so that's it please share the video because we love to have as many people as we can to make the sharing fun and get sort of um get them in a jewelry making journey because i think quite a few of them just found us and you've been saying what a great thing is to sort of just to sit down and make your own jewelry create something do something different us crafty people we do so many different things i certainly done knitting i done crocheting i done felting i done so many different crafts as well but i am in love with jewelry making you get thousands of different textures colors shapes beads different whole beads the endless the, so many different techniques as well so ned before i just sign off let me show you the embroidery kit so i got let me show this one because i got this one done up so the embroidery kits what just came in they are on little canvases and what you're going to be doing you're going to be sewing beads on one by one this is by arbis art um they are a company in ukraine really clever um people designed loads of different things now what i love about this one which i have to see i have had other embroidery kits in the past that this one is a proper canvas so it's not one of your silky materials it doesn't pull together as easily it's a proper canvas with all the little beads um, um you will be stitching on there so in the kit itself which is come in the packaging like that and let me open this up and show you you get the canvas with the print printed on there so you can see all those little dots is where you need to sew the bead on on the side you have got your little chart so you know what bead is what number and then on your card you have all your beads there all numbered up so you know that's number three that's number five they're all numbered up so you know which one to use where they're all Preciosa beads from the Czech Republic, so they're really great quality. You get your little needle in the set as well. The only thing you don't get is a thread, but you can add um, thread separately on the kits. And I'm only using super long double eye for it, which is like a thinner one of the threads. Um, it's really, I, I just love it. I just really, I just have to sit down and I just have to play and play and play and play. And we got even like really large ones as well. Let me show you this one. I'm going to making this one next. So this is a quite a large one, a really nice design. Probably going to take me a week or two to finish it. But, um, you know, do something artistic with your beads, something a little bit different. I love cross stitch and I did many, many pictures in cross stitch and um, a sort of other bits of this is I even done a diamond art um, picture as well that you stick your beads on. But this one is my absolute favorite. It's just so um, nice to see when you bead by bead, you stitch them on there that they look really, really great. I, I can recommend them really therapeutic. If you got a frame, um, you can add your canvas into the frame and just sort of work away picking up the beads um, as like you had. You can um, you can iron it slightly with a damp cloth from the back. You can hand wash it if you need to. So it is a proper canvas material. It's not like a thin silky material or anything like what you can't really iron or can't wash or can't do anything. It's a proper canvas. What you would have for, I suppose, painting your pictures as well. So do check them out.
Margaret saying beautiful, love them. Lucy saying love these. Sharon, love, <laughs> love it. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you like them because this is really my pet project. I really want to do something a bit more artistic with beads and do sort of pictures and, and other bits of pieces, not just jewelry, because we can use beads in so many different crafts that um, um I, there's so many people and I, just, I, I, I'm so glad you all love it. Um, Lucy's saying, I fell in love with the huge rose when I went and looked. Yes, I really love that one as well. I think it looks quite sort of modern and, and something really, really different. And with the beads, it's going to look really... Oh, Dorothy's saying, need, need, need. Um, Catherine's saying, that is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad you love it all. Um, I like saying... Hi Kitty, sorry I missed the video today. Busy uh, moving to a new apartment. I'll watch later. Oh, bless you. Uh, good luck with the move. So if you do miss the video, um, you can always watch it, watch it on catch up. If, if you share the video, it will stay in your timeline forever. If you are, um, you can save the video with the three dots at the top. And um, I think, I don't know which side it is on uh, when you watch it. I think it's on this side. Um, if you click on that, you can save the video. You can go on our website and in the Facebook tutorials on our website. So that's today's one. So that's not going to be uploaded just yet. But if I go back to like any of the other days of what we did, if you go on there and you press, there's a big blue button at the top. And if you press on that, it will bring up Facebook and it will bring up a video as well. So you can find it that way as well. Um, yeah, we done over 150 of them. I think this is week 16 now. Um, we started when the lockdown started, so we got many, you know, and, and we decided we're going to do it for a foreseeable future, which I'm so glad that um, Sarah is on board as well. She was down a couple of weeks ago and we decided, like, we kept saying, oh, no, we're just going to do it for another couple of weeks. And no, actually, we're going to do it. And I love this. This is, you know, my lovely little interaction with you lot. So that's it for me today. Have a right side. So it's up there. The three dots is up there. Um, have a lovely day today. Tomorrow I am going to be with you and we're going to be make a uh, beaded um, chain, a square stitch chain. Now I'm going to show you the necklace I made and I made this 15 years ago, I guess. And I came up with a modern take on it using with all sorts of different beads. But I'm not going to show you what, how we're going to interpret this and do it tomorrow. I'm just going to show you the original one. So when you come tomorrow, you're going to see they're going to look really, really great. So we're going to make a beaded chain with some square, using square stitch. It looks a really nice, a very modern take on a necklace. And I even done square stitch on the side all the way to the up. Now, the ones I recently designed this, and no, I can't, I've got a necklace, so I can't put this one. I redesigned this, and I'm going to be um, using some different beads as well. It's going to look really great. It's going to look really, really sparkly, but you will see it tomorrow. It's going to look really great. I love it. I love things like this when you're stitching beads together with needle and thread and creating all sorts of different patterns. We're going to have some little bead bundles for them tomorrow. So do check out and come back. So rain or snow, hail or wind or sunshine, we will be here at 10 a.m. every day. I'm showing you different techniques. So do tune in. And that's it for me today. Stay safe, everybody. Um, Take care, keep on beading, keep on crafting. Let us know, put a picture up in one of our handmade groups if you make something. I love to see you, what you're making, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.